Let's pull this one up from the Post Millennial. Michigan court rules RFK Jr.'s name should be removed from ballot. This reverses a lower court ruling. So I think this, this will play a big role for, for Trump in the prediction models. It's a Michigan appeals court has ruled the name of uh, RFK Jr. should be removed from presidential ballots in that state. This comes after Kennedy suspended his presidential campaign and endorsed Donald Trump. He has since petitioned to have his name removed from ballots in 10 key battleground states, including Michigan. A lower court in Michigan has had said that Kennedy's name should not be removed, but that uh, the appeals court determined that Democrat Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson had no basis to deny Kennedy's request to withdraw his name from the ballot, the Detroit Free Press reports. The appeals court further determined that the law Benson used to justify her refusal to remove Kennedy's name from the ballot only to candidates of state uh, for state office, not to presidential candidates such as Kennedy. It was only two days ago that a Michigan judge determined that Kennedy, uh, the, the Kennedy, must remain on the November ballot, which would have potentially aided Vice President Kamala Harris's bid for the White House, which is the very candidate Kennedy is hoping to see defeated. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that logic, to be completely honest, because that 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 argues Kennedy was always pulling from Trump. Him staying on the ballot may pull from the Democrats. I don't know why everyone's immediately assuming this is just bad for Trump. Is it because he, even though he's a Democrat, but he was kind of based a Democrat, so they think anyone who has some logical brain cells might be voting for him from uh, on the right side instead of the left side? Well, when he first announced that he was switching to an independent, a lot of people were like, for, well, first off, let's remember that it was Democrat uh, – organizations that were trying to keep him off the ballot yeah. initially it was i don't know of any republican state-led effort that was like we got to keep rfk off the ballot that should tell us something right it was also his family that said he should drop out this was when he was an independent because it would hurt the democrats so obviously someone thought it was bad for him to be there uh but when he initially announced his candidacy and again when he announced that he was going to be an independent there was a lot of enthusiasm among people who identified as conservative but when you would look at polls that would ask them like oh so you like him they'd be like yeah we think he's great and they're like are you gonna vote for him they'd be like no i'm voting for trump but you know i think he does appeal to a lot of voters now independents are a little more mixed but again like i don't think that an independent that was leaning towards trump i don't think there's enough of them that were going to not vote for trump whereas democrats were deeply unhappy with biden as a candidate and were looking for other options very based. Uh, Jocelyn was, I seen her on MSN today. She was uh, MSNBC and she was super mad because I guess they got to reprint everything. It's going to cost a lot of money to get everything reprinted. And that was her excuse to the uh, host as they're going to spend millions of dollars, taxpayer dollars, to re redo the ballots. And even though she had all the time ahead of time to make that change, she waited to the last minute and now she is forced to. And she's costing her own people, or, you know, their own money. Well, to, to, to go back to where we started, I think we can assume then if Trump really was losing voters to RFK Jr., this boosts Trump in Michigan.